I'm Julie May. I'm a professor, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I'm a sweet southern culinary superstar, even if it's only in my own kitchen. My food blog, Menu Musings of a Modern American Mom, reaches thousands of people all over the world each day. And today, I'm going to cook with you. Let's get started. Today, we're starting out at Ingles, getting the ingredients to make this lovely stuffed zucchini. If you don't have a veggie lover in your house, this is guaranteed to make one. Here's what we'll need. Three zucchinis, a half of a large onion, which is about half of a cup, one tablespoon of butter, six slices of crispy bacon, or about a half of a cup, one tablespoon of sour cream, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of curry powder, one Roma tomato, which I've seeded and chopped, one teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves, some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, some freshly cracked black pepper, and that's it. All right, we're ready to get started. Now, I've just preheated my oven to 375 degrees. Maybe you can hear it in the background. And then I gave my zucchini a quick wash. Next, we're going to slice them in half lengthwise. And I'm gonna take either a small spoon or a melon baller. Actually, a baby spoon works really great. And I'm going to hollow the zucchini out, leaving a little ledge around the outside. We're essentially making little zucchini boats. Now I'm going to leave the, the end on because we don't want all our yummy filling to fall out. And I'm just going to scoop the flesh out. And we're going to chop this flesh kind of small, so just pile it up. Doesn't matter. Now sometimes it's kind of hard to get really nice straight lines. It doesn't matter. No one's going to be able to see it. When it's all together, your filling's gonna cover it. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be beautiful. All right. So just go ahead and, you can even actually just scrape it when you get down to it. And we're going to leave a little ledge. And I'm gonna do that for the rest of my zucchinis. All right, so we are done now. And we've got all of our zucchinis hollowed out. The next thing I'm gonna do is chop this flesh fairly small. For one thing, we've got a lot of great ingredients to go back in here. We're going to have a hard time fitting it all back in, so uh, let's let this cook down and kind of get small. Now you can chop this as small as, or large as you'd like. Completely up to you. And if you'd like other ingredients in your stuffing, have at it. All right. I'm going to put all of this into my mixing bowl. And I'm going to arrange my zucchini into a casserole dish, however they best fit. It's kind of like a puzzle. All right. We're ready to get our filling together now. So. What I've done is I've taken the liberty of going ahead and um, sauteing down my onions in a tablespoon of butter. And you're going to saute them kind of low and slow until they're soft and translucent. We're going to go ahead and add that in to our zucchini. You don't really want a crunchy onion at the end, so these are nice and sweet and kind of buttery. All right, everything else is just dump it in. I've got about a half of a cup of some really great smoky bacon in here that I've already cooked and crumbled. Now, if you'd like to have a vegetarian dish, maybe you could substitute the bacon for some chopped mushrooms or something, but we go through lots of bacon at our house, so it's going in. That smoky, salty flavor is really great in there. I have a Roma tomato that I have seeded and chopped. The reason I seeded it is because there's a lot of water and moisture in the tomatoes, and we don't want our filling to be runny. So just take the seeds out with your finger and chop them in there. I'm going to add a teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves. Now depending on the type of thyme, you may need to give them a rough chop, but these thyme leaves are really small, so you can just go ahead and put them in there. A half of a teaspoon of table salt. 
a teaspoon of mild curry, a tablespoon of sour cream, and I'm using the reduced fat version. How could this be wrong, right? Bacon and sour cream and sauteed onions. I'm going to add a little black pepper in there and a little parm. Now, I've just grated this parm. Please don't use the stuff in that little green bottle. The freshly grated stuff is so much better and your dish is only gonna be as good as the ingredients you choose. Now, I'm gonna save a bunch of this because I'm gonna put on some later at the end. So I'm just gonna give this a stir and we're gonna um, put them in the zucchini boats and that's all there is to it. The rest of it is just baking it and letting the house smell really great while you're doing it. All right, all we have left to do is to take this wonderful filling, it smells so good already, and stuff them in the boats. Now, I have to say, good luck on this part. Um, sometimes you're adding all this stuff in there and you wonder how it's all gonna fit back in there. It, it will, you can just kind of smash it down a little bit, and then as it's baking, it's, it'll kind of, kind of condense a little. All right, we're ready for the oven. Before I go there, I'm gonna make it really pretty. For people who know me, they know I like lots of garnishes on my food. That's okay, I like things to be pretty on there. And it makes a difference, right? People pick at me about that all the time, but that's all right, they like my food. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of the freshly grated Parmesan on there. I'm leaving a little more because when it comes out, I like to put a little bit more. I'm a sucker for melted cheese. A little more black pepper on there. And one more sprinkling of that fresh thyme. There's something about being able to see all those wonderful herbs in the food when they are on your plate. That, I don't know, it just makes it taste better. All right, we are ready for the oven. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 375 degrees. They're gonna take about 30 to 35 minutes and they'll be done. And here we have our gorgeous zucchinis. They've just come out of the oven. I sprinkled a little bit more Parmesan cheese on them. And we have that smoky, salty bacon, that aged Parmesan, soft, buttery zucchini. What's not to like? Well, we're out of time for today. But thank you so much for joining me here at the Ingalls table for Menu Musings. Remember, you can find this recipe, photos, videos, and more, like these amazing stuffed zucchini. You'll find this recipe and other great dishes online at ingles-markets.com.